Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the AG Grid Enterprise features in your Angular application. We will start with an application using the community version of AG Grid. We have our column definitions, we have a default column def, and we're loading data from the server. You can see in here in our application that we've got rows of Olympic winners. If we now look at our package.json file, we can see that we've got two AG Grid packages, AG Grid Angular and AG Grid Community. AG Grid Community contains all the core logic for AG Grid, and AG Grid Angular contains the Angular wrapper component that we use for our Angular application. To include AG Grid Enterprise features, first of all, we must include the Enterprise package. If we bring up our terminal and run npm i save AG Grid Enterprise, and then we will see in our package.json file, we now have AG Grid Enterprise. It's correct to have all three packages. AG Grid Community contains all the community features and the core grid logic. AG Grid Enterprise builds on top of this and adds in all the enterprise features. We don't copy across the community features into AG Grid Enterprise, so you need to have both of these installed if you want to work with the enterprise features. Now, before we enable the enterprise features, let's just take a look at our demo. If you notice that when we right click, we get the default browser menu. And also when we filter, we have a simple text filter. You will notice that as soon as we enable AG Grid Enterprise, the behavior of the grid will change and we will have enterprise filters and enterprise context menus by default. So let's do that now and enable AG Grid Enterprise. To do this, we will go into our app.module file and we will add the following import. We will add import AG Grid Enterprise. That is all you need to do to enable all the enterprise features in your application. If we now go back to our demo, we can see that enterprise features have been enabled. When we right click, we get the enterprise context menu and also the set filter, which again is an enterprise feature that is enabled by default when you use AG Grid Enterprise. Now that we have enterprise features enabled in our application, let's quickly demonstrate a few of them. If we go to our app component, we can now use row grouping. So we will add the property row group to our country column and set that to true. You can now see that our data is grouped by country. We could set this to year as well and have it grouped by country and then by year. Or we could enable the user to group by whichever columns they want. To do this, we take these properties off the column definitions and in our default column def, we say enable row group. This will enable every column to be used as a group, but then we also need to display the grid's built-in drop zone, which it uses to do grouping. This can be done with a property row group panel show and set that to always. Now, when we refresh, the user can drag columns into the group to group by them. And it's possible to reorder the groups. So now we can see a group of everyone who's 23. There are many, many enterprise features but we won't go through all of them in this video. If you want to see all the enterprise features, you can see these on our documentation. Enterprise features have an E beside them, and that means you will need the enterprise package and also the enterprise license to be able to use these features in production. If you want to use AG Grid Enterprise in your application, but you don't have an enterprise license, then in your console, you will have this error message telling you that you don't have a valid license. You will also see a watermark in the bottom of your grid on anything apart from localhost. But please note, it is completely free to try out AG Grid Enterprise. So download the package and try it out in your application. If during your trial period, you want to remove the watermark and the console error, then please email us at info at aggrid.com and we'll be happy to give you a trial license. When you are then happy that AG Grid Enterprise is for you, please email us again at info at aggrid.com and we will happily sell you a license.